Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some rainbow popsicle soap. This is a perfect project for the summery months, and I think they would make super awesome party favors. This video is actually a collaboration with the amazing Catherine from Makeup is Cool. She does a lot of different art, beauty, and DIY videos here on YouTube, so if you haven't heard of her channel, you should definitely check her out. She has created a Lego soap making tutorial. If you like what you see, subscribe to both of us, pretty please. Now let's get started on making some soapsicles. <laughs> to begin, you'll need a soap base from either the craft store or a soap making website. Cut it into smaller pieces with either a kitchen knife or a soap blade and then pop those guys into a microwave safe container. Microwave for about 30 seconds. If it hasn't melted completely, then you can put it back in for about 10 seconds at a time until it does. At this point, you can add soap fragrance or essential oil to the liquid soap. And it's time to mix in some soap colorant. Keep adding drops until a desired shade is achieved. Now it's time to form the popsicles with this frozen ice pop maker that I purchased from Amazon.com. Carefully pour the colored soap into the middle of each mold. You don't want it to hit the sides, so it's important that your container have a spout. It might take some practice to get used to. My first few pours were kind of messy, but here I am wiping off the drips with a tissue. Rubbing alcohol will be your best friend when you're making soap. Quickly spray it into each mold before the soap hardens to get rid of air bubbles. Once the first color has cooled and dried completely, you're going to pour in the next very carefully, but the cooling process should take about 20 minutes just to be safe. I don't think I waited long enough with the red since this was my first time and it kind of bled into the orange. Here I'm placing in the wooden popsicle sticks while the green is still a little bit tacky. I did a terrible job at making the colors even, but if you need a little help doing this, you can use tape and put little marks on it as a guide, so when you pour, it will be more even and uniform. Pour in as many colors as you want, but make sure to wait in between to make sure that the previous layer has hardened and cooled. Also make sure that the color you're pouring in is not super hot, you want to wait a little bit so it doesn't melt the color underneath or your mold. Cleaning out the container between layers is really easy because most of the time it will just peel out all in one clump, but if that doesn't happen for you, you can just rinse it out with water until it's clean. Now I'm adding my final color, which is purple, and I'm popping those pesky air bubbles with rubbing alcohol. After waiting for the final color to cool and dry completely, I tried to pop them out of the mold, but they wouldn't budge. So I put them in the freezer for 30 minutes, the entire mold, and when I took it out, I ran it under hot water, and this might take a while, but you can see that air pockets will start to form, and this is when you know the soap is releasing itself from the plastic, and it's going to pop out when you kind of push at the sides. With the first popsicles, I used the white soap base that I had, but this time I'm using the clear soap base, so these will be more transparent, whereas the other ones were opaque. And here I did a better job at pouring the layers more evenly, yay! <laughs> Thank you. 
I also decided to create a couple batches of pastel popsicle soaps and they kind of remind me of unicorns, they're so pretty. Here I'm testing out the soap. This is a dud piece that I just ran out of melted soap for, but as you can see the soap colorant doesn't stain your hands, so if you use that you should be good, but if you use food coloring you might have colorful hands after you wash, so just try to stick with soap making materials. With a two pound block of soap you should easily be able to get ten popsicles. If you make popsicle soap, then please show me a photo by using hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram. You don't have to make it rainbow, you can use any colors that you want, and you don't have to do six layers, you could do 20 or just one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out Catherine's Lego soap making tutorial. And if you want to see some more soap making tutorials that I have done, such as the fish in the bag and tie-dye soap, then check out those links in the description box below, along with the links to all my social media pages. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon. Bye! Happy Crafty Friday! Happy Crafty Friday! What, 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 what? Rainbow! Rainbow! Soapsicle. Ah ha ha. Stay focused. Stay focused. Look. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. And I can't sing that song. Bum, bum, bum. You know that I love you. I love you. Oh, I'm such an embarrassment to the YouTube community. <laughs> this is not happening. So hot. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Why? I really shouldn't have things in my hands when I film. It is a distraction. Thank you all for using hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me your lovely creations. I really enjoy seeing what you guys make every week.